Lucas County Library is highlighting local artists. Part of the library's renovation was adding a gift shop. Art and Soul doesn't just sell little knickknacks. In fact, most of the items in the store are made by hand, by people in our area. When she decided to open a retail space downtown, uh, she called and asked me if I would be interested and I was overjoyed. I love that it's regional artists and so happy to be part of it. Mary Willits creates these bouquets of flowers made out of hand-cut recycled paper, pulling most of her inspiration from nature. Some of it's from things I've seen other places, but like um, a lot of it is from inspired by nature. Um, this being lavender, but you can make lavender in any color that you want. The latest renovation at the library includes new spaces to help small businesses get started. The library adding some unique spaces for collaboration. Um, and, and especially the uh, workspace downstairs, which is an interesting place that, that groups could stay for not just for a couple of days, but or a day, but a couple of days, a couple of weeks, or a couple of months. This new focus for the library is something Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur noticed when she toured the building, encouraging all entrepreneurs to see the new resources. So if you have an idea for a business, or if you're operating out of your house, you can come here and get counsel on how to take your idea forward. That is so important for people in our community. So for the small entrepreneur, this should really be home plate. You should start here. For local artists, the chance to share their artwork is what makes this new space so special. Uh, really special to me, but um, it gives me joy to share it with other people too. So. If you haven't made it to the new library yet, the children's floor was also redone as part of the $10.4 million project. The library and gift shop are open every day of the week. If you'd like to see your artwork featured here, email pictures and price points to artandsoullibrarystore at gmail.com. Katie Zieber, UT10 News.